Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder that affects nearly 44 million people worldwide and is most prevalent in Western Europe. In Ireland, there is almost 40,000 sufferers. My Nana is one of them. There are many distressing symptoms of the disorder and memory loss is probably the most well known. This is the result of an excelled rate in the death of neurons and a subsequent loss of synapses in the hippocampus. Neurons are the basic constituents of the brain. They receive and send signals to cells all over the body. One neuron can connect with multiple others via synapses where the signal arrives at the end of one cell and causes the release of chemicals that act on the cells the synapses onto. The neurons of the hippocampus process all of the information received about an environment or experience and store this information as memories. As these cells die, the ability to form new memories is severely reduced and so many people will only have memories from long ago and will be confused or disoriented by their current surroundings. Not everybody will have first-hand experience of Alzheimer's disease, but we will all experience old age. As the body ages, there is a general decrease in the neuronal population this also results in cognitive decline, though at a much slower rate than in Alzheimer's disease. For many years, it was thought that the brain cells you were born with were the only ones you'd ever have, but this has been found to be untrue. A process called neurogenesis describes the production of new neurons in specialised areas of the brain. The hippocampus is one of them. Our lab focuses on finding ways to upregulate the rate of neurogenesis in the hope of enhancing cognitive function or rescuing cognitive decline. One way that we do this is through exercise and the positive effect it has on the brain. One such effect is the increased production of BDNF, a protein that binds to track B receptors embedded in the membranes of cells in the hippocampus and induces internal cellular signals that go on to boost neuronal proliferation, support neuronal survival and protect from neuronal death. But what about the people who aren't physically active? as a result of restricted mobility or mental disability. I am currently working with a small peptide that can mimic the effects of exercise by binding to the track B receptors in the hippocampus. BDNF can only be generated in the brain, as it is too big to pass into the brain when administered peripherally. The small size of this peptide, 7-8-DHF, and its specific affinity for the track B receptor make a perfect candidate for enhancing signaling cascades that can help to produce more new neurons in the hope of balancing out their rate of cell death and slowing the onset of cognitive decline.